Howdy folks, it's Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We are on the penultimate leg of our Discover Finland bush trip. And, um, long introduction in the first video, no introduction now. We've already talked about it seven times, let's just get into it. Alright, here we are, penultimate, second to last leg. And we're going to do repair and refuel. And we'll take care of that map in a moment. Let's read about where we are and where we're going. We are going to Kilo Echo and half an hour trip or so it says that's fine do I have time to do this one I do alrighty Olu depart Olu airport and head northeast crossing Kampele Bay and then passing over Olu the most populous city in northern Finland all right oh that happens right away okay so we'll read about the next POI as well in a second here actually no because we have time to get to it okay so we're gonna depart the airport crossing Kampele Bay Heading over to the most populous city in northern Finland, Olu. Alrighty, so where is that? Exactly, we're going to cross the bay and there's Olu right there. So when we get to here, which isn't too far away, it should be pretty obvious. We're going to see a big city and then we'll read about the next POI. Alright, so that's super easy. Alright, let's put all that away. Let's get our pilot set up. As I've said in all the other legs of this video, we could do the thing where you do the stopwatch. And you look for everything, but we're compromising. We are looking for everything, but we're letting autopilot fly the plane so we can enjoy the sights more. If you want to see me struggle with all the stopwatches and everything, just watch the Nevada bush trip <laughs> video. Been there, done that. Let's a barometer on this one. There we go. Alrighty, we're going to do GPS. 1,500 feet. We're going to climb at 600 feet per minute. Let's be interview per minute, just because I want to. Alrighty, first set of flaps down. And we'll hand fly out of here, probably. Fly your walled throttle. Easy on the rudders. And easy on the rudders. <laughs> Come on, here we go. And pop it up. There we go. And step on the brakes off the wheels. Gear is fixed. We'll leave the lights the way they are. Flaps coming in. Props back a little bit. And we'll fly runway heading for a moment, just so we don't um, startle anybody who might be um, taxiing or something. Alright, let's trim this thing down. This thing is trimmed so far back by default. Alrighty, here we go. Let's turn to the left and get on the purple line. Then we'll let Alpala take over. We're just going to hand fly for a moment. Enjoy the sky. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was dramatic. Alrighty, we're going to cross over this lake thing and then we're gonna cross over the bay oh yeah our co-pilot has things to say they are a chatty co-pilot alrighty let's go like this and when the purple line crosses the other purple line we will turn left and um, line up the purple lines I'm trying to save 100 feet per minute manually here with trim it's kind of working kind of not the purple lines are starting to line up now here we go let's do autopilot Bam, smooth handoff. There we go. So we're going to cross over the bay. And on the little island. Why the S curve? I was, I had this lined up really well. Now you're going to S curve us back again. Whatever. I've talked before in other videos about how much I love islands on lakes. I love taking kayaks and canoes out to little islands and just hanging out on the island. As long as nobody else is there. <laughs> There's another island out there. Um, mainly, I like that because there aren't going to be animals. I said it before in Lake 4 or something how much animals freak me out at night, especially at night. But, um, yep. That island looks awesome. But during the day in the small islands, you should have too many animals to worry about. Alrighty, so we're going to cross over this bay. The city is where this river right here joins this mess of water. But we can't see it from up here, so let's take out the drone. And put the drone where it's supposed to be. And go under, and there's the big city. Whoa, right, come on, right there. How gorgeous is that? Here we are approaching the city. We will come back outside. I just want to look at it from the windows for a moment. What's interesting about flying over something is you can't see from an airplane, but you fly off to the side, the other person can't see it. So, even if you're like right next to each other in a tiny plane, so very interesting the whole perspective from the sky thing. Very interesting. Where are we at for altitude? Yeah, we're at cruising altitude now. Alrighty, cool. So let's hop back outside and look at the city. And then we'll read about the next POI in a moment. Is that a rail yard or something? Sure looks like it. Wow, 
I love the buildings. It doesn't seem to be too densely packed in. Like, every building has a courtyard. Is that a European thing or just like a Finnish thing? But look at this. Every building has a courtyard. When my wife lived in France, um, the people she stayed with had a courtyard in their apartment building. And um, she was walking along with her laundry. Excuse me about my voice. She had to like scoot over to let somebody else walk past her in the like outdoor corridor and she dropped her laundry basket. Well, not laundry, she bumped her laundry basket and a bunch of her underwear fell to the bottom of the courtyard and she said she just left it there. And it stayed there for a while. <laughs> she was too embarrassed to get in. <laughs> I think it's a funny story because I would have gotten it. Like, just go get your stuff. Like, who cares what it is, but whatever. She's very, very shy like that. Well, that's a cool building right in the middle of your screen. What is that thing? Wow. We're going to keep looking at the city before we read about the next place. Anyway, you know, kind of funny story about course. I wonder if I see a courtyard in Europe. I think of my wife telling the story how she dropped her undies over the ledge. All the way down, like six floors down or something. And she's too embarrassed to go get them. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Alright, here we go. Let's hop back inside and um, read about our next POI. All right, let's close that one up, actually, because this is filling the screen. Fly for 35 nautical miles to the north-northwest, skirting the beautiful coast of Finland, northern Finland, to Kuivanimi, Kuivanimi, located at a large bend in the Kuapinavina, Kuapinava River. <laughs> I'm trying... I'm trying. I could just say, read this yourself and move on, which we have done before in other trips. Um, so we're going to fly. We're going to skirt the coast of northern Finland. And then we're going to go to um, this, I assume it's a city, located at a large bend in the river. So let's see what that looks like. That looks like... That's, wow, that's way up here. Where are you? Holy cow, where are you? PY-13, right? PY-13? Yep, that's way up here. So we have a few rivers we're going to go by, but hopefully it's pretty obvious. And then it's along a highway, obviously, as well. All right, so let's see. If we go along here... Oh, right here. It's going to be right there where the road... Well, just south of where the road touches the river. That was easy to find. Okay, so it says 14 minutes for me, which I'm going to cut down to a couple minutes for you. Again, you're not going to miss any sightseeing, though, as I've said in all of these trips... I stitch the sightseeing together in a way that you're not missing anything, even when I'm reducing the time. So when our airplane gets to this area, I'll join you. Otherwise, enjoy the sightseeing, and I'll see you in a little bit.
All right, we're barely two minutes away from our destination. So again, we're flying to about here. And then our airport is only a minute and a half away, it says. So where exactly is the airport? Um, really? Only two minutes? Where are we headed? I'm so confused. Kilo Echo. Kilo Echo. So it should be... Why isn't it showing up? There's this here. My, where's our airport? <laughs> um, maybe it's further over here. There it is. Okay, I don't know why I'm struggling with the map, but anyway, it says it's only two minutes away. So we're gonna check out our city, which is right there, and the airport is over there. How can it really only be two minutes away? Oh, because I'm missing this thing. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Sorry, I literally had to step away for like half an hour. And now it's really, really late at night. I want to finish this up. <laughs> so I'm totally discombobulated. I apologize, but we have heard that story and excuse before. So we're just about to reach the city, and then we're going to go eight minutes to our next POI, which is right before the airport. There we go. That makes sense. And then that'll be a fly straight in approach. So as soon as we pass this area, we'll read about the next one as well as our approach. So we can't see the city out the window, obviously, because we're over it. So let's go under it. Or not city. I mean, yeah, it says it was said it was a city, didn't it? Didn't it say it was a city? I think. Um. Kwanda 90, whatever, I guess. I thought it was a city. Anyway, whatever it is, it's up here where the road meets the river, right in here. So we'll look for that in a moment. Oh my gosh, I gotta get back into my groove here. And we'll look out the window. How about we look out the window? We're good at that. And enjoying the water and the dirt on the window. I keep wanting to wipe out my monitor. Check out the turbine farm on that peninsula to the left. It's about to go off screen. And then we're going to turn left in 18 seconds. So let's head under the airplane. There we go. Now we see it. I like this little area here. Turn left at the X. Turn right at the X. Refer to Y's and T's, but that's an X. Look at that. That's super cool. All right, airplane is turning. Let's enjoy this for another brief moment here. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Amazing. All right, hop inside the aeroplane. And let's read about our next POI. Head northwest, continuing to skirt the coastline. And you'll reach the town of Kemi. Located where the Kemiji, Kemijoki River and the, the uh, located where the Kemijoki River, the longest in Finland, meets the Gulf of Bothnia. You are now in Lap Lapland. There are a lot of jokes in there. I'm not going to get into on YouTube. You are now in Lapland, the largest and most northern province of Finland. All right, so we're headed to Kemi. Then right after that, turn north northeast and land at the airport. So, looks like it's paved and everything. Based on the reference photo, looks pretty big, too. Based on the reference photo. So, let's put that away. Um, obviously, we know where we're going. So, we will just keep looking around. And as soon as the airplane ends up around here, we'll start looking for Kemi, which is just south of that NDB. And I'll rejoin you. And we'll land at the airport. And I need to clear my throat and drink some water. And I'll be back in a little bit.
Okie dokie, we're two and a half minutes away from Kemi, and then we'll turn on to our final for the airport. So we are looking at what? What are we looking at? A big city, right? Obviously. And the airport before the water. Well, there's the water there. Does that mean the airport is there, maybe? Could be. That could be the airport. We don't know. We're too low. Too low to tell that far away. So we're just going to look out the window. Kind of a broken record. Ooh, there's a big, big road heading into town there. Some overpasses. Not roundabouts. Interesting. And, um, looking for Kemi. What did I say about Kemi? The largest, let's see, Kemi. The town of Kemi. Where the river and the longest, okay, the longest river in Finland. That's what we're looking at over there coming in. Meets the Gulf of Bothnia. And we're now in Lapland. The largest, most northern province of Finland. And then there's a big airport. There's the airport. You can see the dealy bobs, the lights. Let's turn off autopilot because we know where we are. We know what we're doing. And let's trim this thing down. And let's start coming down because there's our runway right there. Right there. That's where we're headed. So we're going to come down. Not too low. Not below a 1,000 anyway. And we'll come over this town. Let's actually go to the left so we can see the town. Because if you go right over, you can't see anything. And then we will land. Simple as that, so let's do some lookies outside with this camera, because I can't use the drone while I'm trying to fly. I lose control of the aircraft. It actually takes away the control of the aircraft. We're going to follow this road in this highway. Oh, look at that. That's a gorgeous view. Take a screenshot of that. Hop back inside the airplane. Look out the window at all the houses. Oh, look at Little Island on the Little Lake. Oh, I would love to be there. Oh, how I would love to be there. Even these islands would be fun. That one's too big. That's too big of an island. That one looks awesome, though. I guess in Minecraft, on a shared server, I did find a teeny tiny island to build a house. It's on the old Tall Turtle channel, though. Alright, it says we're too low. I got the side of the Pappy. Or Vazzy. I think it's Pappy. But we're looking at this town, so let's use some throttle to keep us from descending. And we'll, um... Keep her pitch the same to keep the same speed. Her attitude pitch. Whoops. Hey, look at that red house, red barn. Is that like a strawberry patch? Looking at the town, I know we're missing the airport. I just want to see the town. And there's all that screen tearing again that I get that doesn't get recorded. And it's not V Sync because when I turn on or off V Sync, nothing changes. Alrighty, looking at the town one more time. While we try to sightsee while we fly a plane. It is not going well, as you can tell. We climbed quite a bit. We, first of all, I ended up too low. Then we climbed quite a bit. And now we're getting a lot of speed. Because <laughs> I was trying to sightsee. But whatever, we're going to look again as we come down here. Oh, look at that. Alrighty, put everything away. Put the toys away. Come in for landing. Throttle because I'm sinking too much. Pitch up a little bit to slow down. Here we go. I was back. Why is it saving? That's cool. Alright. And let's get ready for some flaps in a moment. Hey you, stop looking out the window. <laughs> you can get <laughs> pay attention, you're gonna run into these trees, man. Alright, here we go. Using pitch to level off just because of the dire situation I put us in, and then using throttles to compensate for what I was doing. Alrighty. Slow down. Throttles back. Pulling back on the yoke to slow down. Throttle's off right now. We're at idle, but as soon as we do flaps, we might need throttles to get us in here. Maybe not. Maybe we won't need throttles. We do not need to land at another runway, even though that's what we're aiming for. I always aim as though we're landing on a very, very short dirt runway, although that's not the case right now. Second set of flaps. Here we go. Keep an eye on the prize over the threshold, over the end of the runway, and soften that descent a little bit. And we're going to land long on purpose because we're not in a hurry. Let the ground effects take over. There they are. Don't hit the towel first. Don't hit the towel first. It would be a big bounce. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. All right. Brakes gentle, gentle on the rudders. Do not ground loop. Do not ground loop. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Do we pop? What? What happened? We didn't prop strike. 
Did we make it without crashing? That was weird. I mean, it seemed like we... No, we didn't have our prop strike because... We would have been tipped way forward facing the ground. So I don't know what that was. I have no idea what happened. Don't care. We landed. We landed safely. Last leg in the next video. Like, subscribe so you can see that when it arrives in a couple days. And I'll see you then.